What's going on y'all, Coach Paul here. I had a couple requests from y'all for me to go through my mobility routine, so I wanted to take the time to go specifically into the request for my hip mobility routine that I do on a daily basis, just a general run through of everything. This is, these, this is not any soft tissue work or, um, or uh, active release techniques, these are specifically body weight mobility movements that you could do at home anywhere before a workout um, uh, after a workout and when you recover so let me know if you have any questions and let's do it hey what's going on y'all so i as requested i wanted to make a video on my hip mobility routine so this is a series of just body weight exercises that you can do anytime anywhere a lot of these stretches i uh, I'm kind of speeding through. I'll spend a whole lot more time depending on how I feel on my training week um, in a lot of these stretches, but I just wanted to run through the, the main the main ones that I do. So I usually work this nice runner lunge positions with you know my back leg long and uh, one of my legs all the way up by my hands, keeping my feet nice and flat. Focusing on both my front hip as well as my back hip flexor, and I'll work different ranges of motion. Um, external rotation in my hips, letting my foot come off the ground, but also keeping it on the ground. Here I go with the internal external rotation, and I'll work this on the other side. Maybe I'll get a better angle here. Big stretch in that hamstring and that calf, bring that foot up nice and high, being really conscious of my posture and my thoracic position, so not trying to round out my back. Um, and there you go, and dropping that inside elbow and big T-spine rotations all the way up, getting loose. And I'll hang out here for as long as it takes for me to feel pretty good. Um, there it goes with the external rotation in the hips, letting that come out big still, being really conscious of that hip flexor, internal, external, oscillate in the hip joint. And then I will come up and I'm gonna do a pigeon right here. So. Pigeons are really great for um, everything going, the adductors, the groin, the hip flexors. I'm also focusing on getting along with that back leg. And I'm going to take this deeper reach to the opposite side of my leg here. And again, as I hit these different stretches, I will work different rotations in my back. Here's another angle from the other side. I'm just trying to get long, reach over with my belly button and my chest, the straight at the back, the deep of the stretch, pushing my left hip down into the ground, reaching to the other side, keeping that back leg nice and long, working the nice thoracic rotations. And I'll do that multiple times, multiple times. I'm really just speeding through here. And here's a nice modified position for the glute med and the glute min, the upper glutes. Bringing my front leg kind of center on my body. Back leg is propping up that front heel. And I'm kicking my hip out to the side. Here's going to be a better angle. And I'm pushing that hip out to the side. I love, love this stretch. I'm going to reach to the other side. And here are my series of different hip flexor stretches. So a couple different things are happening here. I'm working my hip flexors, working um, some more ankle mobilities, getting a positive shin angle over my, my foot. Also making sure I create space between my front heel and my back knee. So I can get a nice, a nice deep stretch, keeping really good posture as if I were squatting with both legs with a load um, on my back or, you know, in a front rack position. So it's all about keeping good posture in these different positions. A lot of times I'll just sit, sit in a squat because nothing's better than getting into a position than actually getting to the position itself. If available, I'll, you know, jump on a wall and go a lot deeper and with a couch stretch up against the wall. They're working really good stretch in the quads, really good stretch in the hip flexors, working different angles of that front leg. And again, here I am with 
the squats. I'll sit in these squats for a really long time, kind of opens up the knees, stretches out the quads. Here I am, working again, rotations, reaching across my body. Here's a front angle. I'll work different shoulder mobility stretches. And as I get into these positions, I'll see how I feel. If anything feels really tight up in my shoulders or my T-spine or my back uh, or my hips, then I'll take it a lot deeper than I'll do some soft tissue work. But again, here's just here are just stretches. If I don't have a wall available, take this a little deeper with um, those hip flexor stretches. And then I'll get work the hamstrings. So working different angles, reaching out with this leg, pushing my hips back, reaching forward, reaching towards that leg, and sitting in here, and then breathing. Always be conscious of breathing. This is one of my favorite stretches. Gets a really good stretch on that front leg, and then that back leg hip, leaning into that hip flexor, and then here's a different angle. Reaching out, reaching towards that leg, taking that stretch nice and deep, pushing my hips back. Good. And here's one of my favorites here, Cossack squats. Cossack squats. A modified version, as you see, my toe is going to come up, my heel is going to come up underneath me. And as you sit down in these squats, you're able to get deeper in these squats and you know this is the most modified version or a modified version and the ideal version would be to let both feet stay flat or get both feet to stay flat and here's as I stretch those ankles hamstrings hips deep into squats once I started working Cossack squats into my mobility program my squats definitely got a whole lot better and a lot of knee pain started going away. Again, if the toe comes up, that's perfectly fine. If your heel comes up, that's perfectly fine. But we're always working towards that ideal position, keeping both feet flat. Also trying to stay up vertically, trying to lean forward. To tell you the truth, the more I programmed Cossack squats into a regular mobility routine, the better my performance has become in um, all variations of different squats, unilateral and big compound movements like pistol squats and front squats and, and Olympic lifts and things like that without any pain in my hips and knees. Okay, more hamstring stuff. Oh, here we go. I, oh, I think I just edited this wrong. Favorite stretch here. Really good. What right leg is back? This leg is pushing. I'm creating space to get a nice deep stretch, stretching that right hip where my palm is. Nice stretch in my my groin. Here's my, of course, an essential 90 90 stretch. 90 degrees in both legs. I'm gonna reach forward. Nice stretch in the glute. And then I'm gonna reach back and I'm gonna twist back. I'm driving my right knee, that front knee, down into the ground, leaning back, stretching out that TFL. My hip flexors, good. And then I'm going to show it to the uh, their side. So I'm going to reach forward over my leg. And it's all intuitive. So you always switch for a good stretch, different positions of the hips. Here I am. I'm going to twist around. I'm twisting around, pushing that left knee into the ground. And then I'm just going to good hip health going side to side in the hip joints. And this is pretty a good basic 90-90 movement. Now, to take this even deeper, one of my favorite lower back stretches while I'm doing this, because I like to be very efficient here, is I'm going to take this right hand, I'm going to reach underneath, palm facing up, drop this right shoulder, and I get a really good stretch in my hips, my lower back, my QL, my upper shoulders, and I hang out there for a couple minutes. And again, I'm just speeding through all of this. And here's a different angle. One of my favorite, favorite stretches I recommend to anybody with um, tight hips and tight lower back. And there you go. All right, y'all, so that's my hip mobility routine. Share with me if there's anything that you feel like I miss or anything that you do, any suggestions that you got for me. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, if you want to do, if you want me to do anything else. I'm gonna do a shoulder mobility, back mobility, other things that are, uh, are really, really big kind of problem areas for me. So, all right, y'all, later.